Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. Do you remember the movie Total Recall or the uh, short story it's based on? We can remember it for you wholesale. Remember how the whole premise was based on false memory implants? Yeah, that's not sci-fi anymore. That's gonna have to go from the sci-fi action section of the video store to the documentary section. Neuroscientists in France have implanted mice with false memories while they sleep, using electrodes to directly stimulate and record the activities of nerve cells, which artificially creates associative memories that stuck with the animals when they woke up. Not 100% new to the real world, neuroscientists have been tinkering with old wrinkle nugget for a while now. Last year a team managed to label cells encoded with fearful memories in mice and then turn those on and off, which is just asking for killer super soldiers if you ask me, but nobody did. And in a similar study labeled positive and negative emotional memories, then figured out how to swap them. So um, that relationship you're trying to get over, instead of being sad you'll just vomit yourself in disgust every time you think of them, isn't that great? <laughs> this is the first time they've managed to actually implant memories uh, in sleeping mice though, and it gives the researchers a better idea how populations of nerve cells encode spatial memories. Let's be clear about one thing, we're not talking about to the point of sending mice on fake vacations or anything like that, That's this is still way more rudimentary than that. The researchers attached electrodes into the brains of the mice targeting their internal reward circuitry and three different cell types that encode memories used for spatial navigation. Uh, then the mice went exploring with their responses to different areas in the environment and the researchers timed the electrical stimulation of the medial forebrain bundle, that's the reward circuitry, with specific place cells creating an associative memory in the animals. Basically, they felt rewarded for being in those places and they spent four to five times as much time there as those that didn't get the reward. So the researchers then took five other mice and once they fell asleep and the place cells in their brain started replaying the activity patterns, stimulated the same reward circuitry in their brains. Later, these mice showed the same change in behavior as the first group, spending more time in the areas they had a positive association with. Look, there's still a lot about the brain that we don't know, like why it seems to replay the activity about where you went during the day, though scientists theorize that this strengthens new memories and helps form new synaptic connections. But you still can't see the dreams or the memories created, you can just note the brain's focus on a particular location and then create that feeling of reward through stimulation. Still, one small step for brain, one giant leap for dystopian future. I guess. It's unlikely this form of stimulation would ever be used casually on humans. Uh, our brains are bigger, messier, way more complex, and the procedure is pretty invasive. But it does create a roadmap for how something similar might be done in the not nearly distant enough future. I don't know, I guess I might take it if I get to marry Kate Beckinsale or Sharon Stone. I mean, that's worth being brain wiped for, right? <laughs> would you ever get false memories if given the chance? Let us know in the comments. You get the best in video games, technology, and science right here, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel, and make sure you know that Frankenstein was not the monster, it was the doctor.